The cell phone footage of George Floyd's death has served as a stark example of new technology being used to keep police accountable. And yet, the very fact of his death shows that police brutality continues. Technological progress was supposed to bridge the gap. So, how did we get here? So can we um, rely on technology to solve the gap between practice and public expectation? One thing you have to kind of think about with this uh, technology and looking back at police brutality is like generally three accepted eras of policing are the political era. So back before we had a lot of modernization, police were essentially just corrupt police officers who are working for the political machine. And then there was this idea of the professionalism movement. How do we know the police are doing what they're supposed to be doing other than looking at their reports that they write up, which, I mean, honestly, the police can do the right thing and write up a report that says they did the right thing. They could write up a report where they blatantly lie. Literally, pencil and paper is kind of the, the technology that would be used to check those decisions. Then we move on to the community policing era. Between the 60s and um, this era of body-worn cameras and citizens in possession of cell phone cameras, um, now police officers are kind of being held accountable for what they're doing. We know that um, police violence uh, has been happening for decades, but with cell phones now, I think people are able to, to record it. And I think people have the right to do that. People should do that. Um, I find myself cop watching like at least once a week. The Rodney King incident in 1991. So there just happened to be somebody um, on a balcony who was observing this and took out their gigantic camcorder. Had that but not been documented, the demands for police reform that followed uh, probably never would have occurred if it was just his word against multiple police officers. And so when we talk about technology as a measure of police accountability, police accountability, number one, is a much larger scale. The NYPD all has body cams now. You see footage of people being murdered by police and it doesn't do anything. You know, the DA's office, the that police department doesn't do anything. You'll be lucky if they get fired. Something that police have implemented themselves is called the early warning systems or early intervention systems. Departments use um, computer programs where they look at complaints against officers and that can let supervisors know, hey, there, there appears to be some type of problem here. Um, this is something that you might want to address. So often we see that police officers do something improper um, and then we never see the outcome where they're actually held accountable. And so we kind of lose that, that sense of legitimacy. Having a body camera, but then having an internal discipline process where that body cam footage is gonna be found invalid or whatever it is, doesn't, isn't doing anything for, for our communities. The police are looking for ways to become more effective at social control and not putting as much emphasis on technologies that promote justice. The criminal legal system and disciplinary systems that exist, especially when they're internal, makes them feel like they're above the law. They can kill people with impunity and get away with it. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot.